After we added some functionality for our inventory class in the last video, we can now create a pickup class and also test whether our system is working or not. But before that, there are some things I want to change. First of all, go into your BP inventory actor and we'll create a new function. This one will be called get amount at index. It will have an input which is our index of the type integer and it will have an output which is our amount. Also you can make it a pure function. So drag in your slots, get from it, add our index here, break that and just return the amount here. Compile and save that one. Also, before we test later on, we have to check that our variables have some default values. Because if our stack size is at zero, we won't be able to add any item. So crank that up to something like 99. That's very common for most games. Or you can also make it 999. And our amount of slots, you can put that one to something like 5 to start with. Or, or 20 will also work compile and save that one and under the last video the user creep left a comment basically saying that it would be useful to know about the rest that could not be added in our add item function so we'll also do that go into our add item function create another output call that one rest and its type will be integer and now we'll have to go to all of our return nodes so let's go to the fourth part first and when we did not find an empty slot the rest will be our local amount since we were not able to add anything. If we found some and set our array element of the false you will leave the rest as zero and here on the true when we call our add item function again you will make the rest of that the return value from our add item function here let's go to the top of our path now when we search a free stack and we don't find anyone search for an empty slot and we also don't find anyone make the rest our local amount again however if we did found one and our local amount is greater than our maximum stacks is not greater than our maximum stack size we will leave the rest as zero and if it is plug the return value of our add item function here into the return node here however if we did find a free stack and the amount plus our local amount is greater than our max stack size we want to plug the rest of our add item function in for the rest here again and underneath that we will leave the rest as zero compile and save that one now before we actually create our pickup item we want our inventory to be spawned in the level you can do that by going to the top down bp under blueprints and open up the top down character which is the default character you play in this template and before anything happens on event begin play right click and search for spawn actor from class connect the begin play with this spawn actor node and for the class select our inventory pp inventory here you can define the amount of slots we'll just leave it at 20 for the collision handling override, select always spawn ignore collisions so our inventory actor will be spawned ignoring basically everything in the world. Also you have to right click on the spawn transform and split the struct pin otherwise you will get an error message. You can leave those as 000, so it will be spawned at the origin of our world. And for the top down char reference you can drag off that and search for get a reference to self 
because we are inside of the top down character at the moment. Now take the output of that and promote that to a variable so we have access to it later on. Call that one inventory reference or just inventory ref is fine as well. And connect the set of it to the branch here. We can compile and save that. Let's actually create our pickup action now. Go under your blueprints folder and you can put it in the item classes or in the uh, blueprint folder, doesn't matter. I will go in the item classes, right click here, create a new blueprint class. Parent class should be actor, call that one bp underscore pickup, pickup actor, open it up. And here in the viewport, you will add a component, search for sphere collision, drag that on top of our default scene root, so it will become the new root of our actor, and add another component and that will just be the sphere, which is a really basic static mesh. Obviously, if you want to create your own game, you will exchange that mesh for your own one or make a treasure chest or something like that. Also grab our sphere collision and increase the radius just to something like 90 will work. And you want to scroll to the bottom of it and add an event for on component begin overlap. So when any actor overlaps our sphere collision we will take the other actor and cast it to our top-down character. So did our character step on it? If yes, we will get our inventory reference. And before we do anything with that, we'll check if it is valid. Search for is valid and take the bottom one of those. Connect the executes here. If it is valid, we want to drag off of the inventory reference and call the function add item, which we created in the last video. And now we'll have to define our item class. Let's promote this one to a variable, call that one class or item to add. And for the amount, do the same thing, promote it to a variable, call that one amount. So how many do you want to add? And make both of these variables editable and expose on spawn. So we can change them when we drag our pickup actor inside of our level. And now it comes in really handy that we created this success output. So we can check, did we add anything? If we did, we want to check whether there is some rest. So is our rest greater than zero? If it is, we will set our new amount to the rest which we weren't able to add. If it's less than or if, if it's equal to zero, it can't be less than, then we will just destroy the actor. So our pickup will be deleted. Compile, save that one and you can close it. Now just drag some of those into the level. You can hold alt and drag them to create copies. And let's modify those for the first one. Let's say the item to add will be a health potion and amount can be something like 50. For the next one go to, ooh, let's say 150 and another health potion. So we just have an example for our stackable items that will be added. And here you will choose an item that is not stackable. Let's say our map. And let's just add two. The last one here we won't need, so just delete them. So when we play test this now, we can step over those and they will be deleted. 
However, we have no idea whether they did something or they were just deleted without doing anything. So let's set up some debugging functionality here. For that, just left click on the top down character in the level and go to edit blueprint, open the blueprint editor for that. And inside here, just go to the free place, right click and type in the number one. When our number one key is pressed, we want to get our inventory reference. And now use that function we also created in the last video, which is called get item info at index. Index will be left as zero. Off of the empty slot, we want to search for a branch. So if our slot is indeed empty, we won't do anything. But if it isn't, we will break our item info. Take the name and type into string. Also right click here and get an append string node. For the A, you can take the name. For B, just uh, press spacebar once. Add another pin and for C, take the amount and drag it in here. It will automatically be converted into a string here. And so if our slot is not empty, we want to print out a string. And that will be that one. So when we press one, we will get the first item in our inventory. And if there is anything, we will print out which item it is and how many of those are in the inventory. You can copy all of this. Just control C to copy them, control V to paste them. Just replace the one with a two. So we also have the ability to check for our second item. Just change the index to one and it will automatically work. Compile and save. And now we can test. Before playtesting, make the amount of the second pick up actor to 50. Save that and now we can play test. Step onto our first pick up actor that were 50 health potions, I think. If we press one, we see that on our first slot there are 50 health potions. If we press two, nothing happens because it's empty. So let's go to our second one, which are also 50 health potions. And on our first slot are now 99 health potions, because this was our maximum stack size. And on our second one, there will be one left. Let's go out of the play mode and hit play again, just so our inventory is empty again. And here we have our two maps that were not stackable. So we should have one map on our first slot and one map on our second slot if we add them. So step on top of them, press one, there is one map, and press two, there is also one map on our second slot. All right, that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll probably create some widgets to show our slots. See you then.